we've been um, really focused on trying to get kids and parents both excited about engineering, which, by the way, has been positioned as this nerdy, genius-only, uh, hoodie-wearing, Mark Zuckerberg, dork-fest you know, field <laughs> that you know, doesn't exactly appeal. So that's what, that's what I've been trying to do. And what we're always up against is that, those stereotypes and, and uh, combating those stereotypes. Well, I think one of the interesting things about the characters is that they're flawed. They're not perfect. And I guess, does that come from your own personal experience, feeling like you had to be perfect? And maybe that's something that being an engineer teaches you otherwise. Absolutely. I think uh, one of the hardest things that I struggled with at Stanford was uh, a lot of the guys in my classes were literally geniuses. And I almost dropped out time and time again because I would just be so hard on myself. I didn't think I was smart enough. And what I learned was that you know, it's not necessarily about being a prodigy. It's not about being a, a genius. It's about finding a passion and working really hard uh, and overcoming those obstacles. Aria, tell us a little bit about what DC Superhero Girls is, for oh. those who don't know. Um, so it is a cross-divisional campaign that brings um, all of our female superheroes into one shared universe in high school. Um, and we have animated content, we have action figures for girls, we have um, role-playing options, we are going to have a Lego campaign, we have a ton of partners. But um, definitely a lot, I was telling Debbie earlier, that Goldie Blocks definitely inspired us to stay true to our brand tenants and kind of convince everybody that there was this cultural movement that girls wanted other options besides pink. Um, that they wanted to play aspirationally as characters that weren't just uh, fashion. So how did Goldie Blocks influence Yes. Them? So um, I, the video came out actually just before I was supposed to pitch the head of this studio um, to get the green light to go ahead. And um, it really helped me stay to, true to the brand tenants that you know our characters don't have pink. They have bright colors. Um, they have functional shoe wear so they can actually fight crime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, and again, a, a really diverse roster. So we have future diplomats, we have future lawyers, we have future doctors, um, we have future engineers, scientists, biologists. It runs the gamut. And so um, I, it was able to prove that you know there is this cultural movement and that this is a project that will actually get a lot of uh, attention and, and eyeballs and excitement.